So we've seen a few examples now where we can use implicit differentiation to compute y prime, so the derivative of y um, with respect to x, from the implicit equation of some curve, right? So for example, for, for something simple like the circle, we know that we can take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, treating y as a function of x, and we know that we're going to get 2x, right, plus 2y, where now we have to multiply by y prime from the chain rule, right, because this is some function of x squared. We're treating y as a function of x. Um, the a here, some positive constant, the derivative of a constant is always 0. So we solve for y prime. We've seen this one already. We're going to get y prime is minus x over y. OK, so this is good, right? This gives us the slope of the tangent line at any point on the circle. Here's our circle. And the equation makes some sense, right? Um, when y is close to 0, so when, when we're at points on the circle that are near the x-axis, so near the two vertices of the circle, um, you have a large slope, right? This, the tangent line is nearly vertical. Whereas uh, when x is close to 0, when we're at the top or the bottom, um, those are the places where the slope is close to horizontal, right? And in fact, we do get horizontal tangents at uh, 1, 0, and, or sorry, at 0, 1, and 0, and minus 1, right? Um, now, there will be some situations where you also want to compute the second derivative. Right? Um, so we're going to see in the next chapter that the second derivative tells us something about the, the curvature of a graph, um, whether it's curving up away from a tangent line or down away from a tangent line. Um, and also in physics contexts, you might be interested in things like velocity, acceleration, things like that. Um, so. We proceed as before. We take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, treating y as a function of x, right? And y prime, well, we've, we've got this expression for y prime in terms of x and y. But we're assuming that y is implicitly defined as a function of x, so we can think of this as just some function ultimately of x. So if we take the derivative of both sides of this equation, what are we going to get? Well, the derivative of y prime Right? We know that that's simply y double prime. Okay? What do we get on this side? Well, we have a quotient, right? So we have to use quotient rule. So we're going to get, let's put that minus sign out front. So the derivative of x is 1. That's the top times the bottom. Right? Minus the top, which is x, times the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative of y is simply y prime. And then we divide by the bottom squared, y squared. OK. Well, there's an answer, but it's maybe not a satisfying answer. We probably want to go a little bit further with this, right? Um, and in particular, although we, we expect that the answer is at least going to have to be in terms of x and y, it would be nice if we could at least get rid of that y prime, right? But we can, because here's y prime. It's minus x over y. So we can, we can put that in. We can say, all right, so this is minus. So we have y minus x times. So now y prime, we're, y prime we're going to replace by minus x over y. OK. And then we divide the whole thing. By y squared. OK. Not so bad. Um, can you clean it up a little bit more? In fact, you can, because if we get the numerator here all over a common denominator, what are we going to have? Well, we have that denominator of y. So let's multiply this side by y over y. Uh, y squared minus minus becomes plus x squared all over y. Now. That y that's in the denominator up here, I can combine with the denominator down there, right? This is like we have a 1 over y squared out front, then we're going to have another 1 over y. All together gives us 1 over y cubed. OK, now that's a little bit nicer looking, but in fact, you can go one step further because um, 
we know at the outset that x squared plus y squared is a squared, right? That's the equation of our circle. So we can finally put that in, and we actually get a fairly nice looking equation in this case, minus a squared over y cubed is the value of y double prime, okay? So that's the answer that we get in this case.